Hi there and welcome to SheSpice. The help pouring in for Cat Williams from the two famous people and customary people is simply stunning. I'm discussing that spectacular meeting of his at Club Shay. You better believe it. That thing exploded big time, piling up nearly 60 million perspectives. It resembled the entire world having its eyes stuck to the screen. However, think about what Sylvester Stallone, yes, you heard it right rough himself, has obviously hopped on the Cat Williams fleeting trend. Now you may be scratching your head thinking about what guilefuls have to do with this. I mean, they're from totally various domains in Hollywood. Right yet get. This rumors from far and wide suggest that in addition to the fact that Stallone tossing is his weight behind feline, but at the same time he's equipping to spill some tea of his own assertion on the road. Is that in spite of Sylvester's massive achievement and unbelievable status, he's had his reasonable part of manipulating in Hollywood, that is correct even somebody as immense as Stallone hasn't been safe to the vicious idea of Hollywood yet, who can fault Sylvester for needing to set free and let. The cat out of the bag, no mystery Hollywood has a heartless side, and, surprisingly, the greatest names aren't protected from its hold. So on the off chance that Stallone's prepared to remove a page from Felice's book and dish everything out. Then I express welcome on the popcorn because this confrontation will be one for the set of experiences books. So Sylvester Stallone is basically a Hollywood legend, right from the notorious rough series to the adrenaline siphoning expendables. Stallone's transformed the big screen. Yet here's the kicker, regardless of being the mind behind rough. He doesn't really possess the privileges granted to the establishment last year. Michael B. Jordan graced our screens with Doctrine 3, however. Hold up. Where's our primary man, Stallone? As rough Balboa? I mean, he was up front, close by Jordan in the initial two Doctrine flicks in any event, stowing himself an Oscar little person for his K presentation in the 2015 introduction. However, in Ideology 3, there is no place to be seen certain they named Drop Roy a piece, yet his genuine whereabouts are a complete secret, and get this, it's the first time in an incredible nine movies and a stunning 47 years that a rough film doesn't include rough Alba. So why the vanishing act? Well, it appears Stallone wasn't precisely feeling the energy of Doctrine 3 or more. He's been having somewhat of a spat with Erwin Winkler, the hotshot maker of the rough establishment, and their fight is not yet playing out. Statement of Faith 3, prearranged by Keenan Kugler and Zach Balin from a story they concocted with unique Statement of Faith Chief Ryan Kugler, is a far hazier interpretation of the elevating rough Franz, as indicated by VAR's film pundit Owen Glaberman. This one's even more of a dirty thrill ride as opposed to your group's exemplary dark horse sports show. Currently, here's where things get intriguing. Stallone the man behind Ruff himself had a few contemplations about where they took with Statement of Faith. Three, he wasn't precisely excited about the entire hazier tone circumstance, he let know that he's to a greater extent a sentimentalist favoring his legends to get hammered however not. Adventure into that most unfathomable space, everything revolves around keeping things a piece lighter you realize he said that is a remorseful circumstance, since I understand what it might have been, it was stuck. Ear toward a path that is very not the same as I would have taken. It's an alternate way of thinking Erwin Winkler's and Michael B. Jordan's I hope everything turns out great for them. Yet I'm substantially more of a sentimentalist, I like my legends getting beat up. Yet I simply den that. Going into that dull space, I simply feel individuals have sufficient obscurity, yet hello, it's not only Stallone in the ring Michael B. Jordan, who's been packed as Adonis Doctrine, had his own vision for the film. He needed to zero in exclusively on Adonis without the well-being net of rough close by seems okay. The primary statement of faith was all about their dynamic pair, while Ideology 2 saw Adonis fashioning his own way. So for Jordan, it was a characteristic movement to allow Adonis to sparkle solo in Doctrine 3. Most importantly, guileful and rough's DNA is through this whole establishment. Jordan told Hot 97 in front of the third film's initial, you can't have these motion pictures without that that dark horse soul I think associates the dark horse in every last one of us. I believe Adonis should take care of himself to do that. We need to go into the past what were those Groundbreaking years, those youth injuries that molded Adonis today, I think the space for this story was truly about Adonis' statement of faith pushing ahead with his family, and having him push ahead that is somewhat. The way in which we carried out the story for this one Stallone's conflict with Winkler, 
is a much greater justification behind his non-attendance in belief three, so enormous that it could imply Stallone at absolutely no point ever plays rough in the future, these two have been in conflict for a very long time over who possesses the privileges to the rough establishment, could you at any point accept it Stallone fundamentally gave over those freedoms some time ago, when he was only a striving entertainer? Ina not understanding the mother load he had on his hands. Quick forward to last November, and Stallone spills the tea to Cirrus XME's Jessica Shaw. He's discussing how cutting binds with the rough establishment for Statement of Faith 3 was one amazing, close to home, exciting ride. As per him, you can't simply reconcile with somebody who's been too obscure as Winkler has been in Stallone's book. Basically, you realize he can't make P.E. I mean, we should be reasonable here. You can't make harmony when somebody has been not terrible but not great either. Odious. And get this, Stallone isn't timid about circulating his complaints back in 2019. He laid everything out in a meeting with an assortment regardless of rounding up the batter from the first rough and catching a few awesome arrangements on the spin-offs. Stallone doesn't hold the keys to those cherished characters I have no responsibility for. Stallone said assortment at the time. Each word, each syllable, and each linguistic blunder was all my shortcoming. It was stunning that it never became, however, I was told hello. You got compensated, so the thing are you whining about? I was enraged that the conflict among Stallone and Winkler over rough freedoms was reignited in 2022. Stallone tossed some significant shade in a now-erased post on Instagram, posting a pic of Winkler as a snake with a tongue made of blades, an extremely complimenting representation of the incomparable rough statement of faithmaker Wywin Winkler, from one of the country's most prominent Delones, wrote in the subtitle after Irwin controlling rough for a period of 47 years and presently doctrine. I truly might want to have a tad bit of what's left my privileges back prior to giving it to just your kids. I trust that would be a fair signal from this 93-year-old man of honor, yet stand by. It gets juicier half a month after the fact that MGM reported it was fostering another rough side project film fixated on the Drago family. Dolph Lundgren featured as Ruff's Russian opponent, Ivan Drago, in Ruff 4. Yet again, while Florian Mutio appeared as Ivan's child in Statement of Faith 2, Robert Alton was employed to pen the content. Stallone stood up openly against the side project and said he was never told about its advancement. Another heartbreaker just found out about this terrible 94-year-old maker and his dumb, pointless vulture youngsters. Charles and David are picking up the bones of one more great person I made without letting me know. Stalino wrote in a now-erased post on Instagram. I am sorry to the fans. I never maintained that rough characters should be taken advantage of by these parasites in the manner in which I have only regard for Dolph. However, I wish he had let me know what was happening behind my back. Stallone added at the time, keep your genuine companions close. Laren then got involved by advising rough fans to unwind after Stallone canceled out the twist just to put any misinformation to rest with respect to a potential Drago spin-off. There's no endorsed script. No arrangement set up, no chief. And I was by and by convinced, possibly by mistake, that my companion Tricky Stallone was involved as a maker or even as an entertainer. Laren composed. There was a press release last week that was lamentable. Stallone and Lundgren could have buried the hatchet. Yet Stallone's problem with Winkler is actually sizzling. As long as Winkler holds the keys to the rough realm, it appears as though Stallone's dearest character may be trapped in realistic limbo. Yet hello. Stallone's no more peculiar to taking a stand in opposition to Hollywood treacheries. Recall when he got down on the separation his pal Carl Climates looked before he died, it resembles Stallone's generally prepared to battle for common decency on and off the screen a hardly any days prior Sylvester Stallone honored Carl Climates, his dear companion and partner, who unfortunately died. Stallone noticeably resentful remained before a work of art caught a pivotal scene between the two spilling his feelings out to respect Climates in a crude and profound second. Stallone shared that today is an extraordinarily miserable day for me. I'm so destroyed I couldn't tell you on the grounds that Carl Climates was a particularly fundamental piece of my life, my prosperity. Every little thing about it he didn't keep down in that frame of mind to Climates, recognizing the significant effect he had on his own life and the progress of the notorious rough establishment considering whenever he first saw Climates Stallone thought back, I gave him mind-blowing credit when he
strolled into that room and I saw him interestingly. I saw significance, yet I didn't understand how extraordinary Stallone conceded that accomplishing how they managed rough could never have been conceivable without climates commending his splendor strong voice, forcing size physicality and in particular his entire being as Stallone remained before. The canvas he shared a strong second. I'm remaining here before this painting since it was most likely the most late we were ever in the ring together, and I will always remember it. The feeling in his voice was unmistakable, and he battled to keep down tears as he closed down with a genuine. Subscribe She Spice for more videos.